Good morning. Happy Sunday. Um, this is Tracy. I craft here at Country Charm by Tracy. And today I am going to share, um, I am uh, going to work on my winter blessings bag. I can't get this out of my mind. And um, so I decided I was going to work on it this morning uh, before we go to church. And so I thought that I would just finish it with you guys. Okay. How's everybody doing? Tell me hello as you come in. Um, happy Sunday. I'm just doing some craft therapy this morning. <laughs> and so um, I thought maybe, you know, this would inspire someone else. Um, I was extremely inspired Happy when Sunday. I um, saw work. Hildy over at Simple Abundance do a winter bag decor craft. And so uh, the other day when I did my good morning. Hi, Mimi. Uh, good morning, Francis. Uh, the other day when I saw, uh, I mean, no, I'm sorry. <laughs> the other day when I did my Dollar Tree haul, I had shared that I had picked up this bag from the Dollar Tree. And hi, Judy. Happy Sunday to you, too. Hi, Kim. We're doing some craft therapy this Sunday morning. I thought maybe, uh, you know, this might inspire someone else, I hope, because I was inspired. And I get inspired by so many of you that share your crafts with me, as well as other people that I see. And I always like to, uh, one of my mottos is, I like to give credit where credit is due if somebody inspires me. You know, if I know who inspired me? I like to, to, you know, give credit. Anyway, so the other day I was at, uh, let's see, all of my days are like running together. I think it was like Friday. I did the Dollar Tree haul and I had shared that uh, Hildy over at Simple Abundance had um, inspired me with this craft. She did hers with a purse, but I didn't have a purse that I wanted to uh, paint over. But I found this bag at the Dollar Tree. These I think are new. I've never seen these. These this uh, blue bag and they had a couple of other colors. Hi, good morning as everybody's coming in. Hi, Melissa. Hi, Lorena, Cynthia. Good morning. Hi, everyone. Um, wherever you're at, I'm in Texas. It, when I woke up this morning, it was 41, which is, you know, cold for us. I know some of my friends that live in other states that get a lot of snow and, you know, have to deal with the ice and all that stuff. You're like, whatever that is, you know, that's peas, you know, compared to, but we're, I'm a 70 ish kind of girl. I like the, I don't like it really cold and I don't like it, you know, really hot either. So, but living in Texas, you know, don't worry because it'll change. <laughs> Good morning. Hi, Diane. Hi, Susie. Um, okay. Okay. So I've tried to like get my thoughts together of what I was going to do. I've been wanting to do like a hanger for my winter decor for a couple of years, but then I, I kind of suffer with uh, winter blues. Like after Christmas, I like go in like almost into a depression um, as far as it's called sad seasonal affective disorder. And um, it really is a real thing. And so over the years, I just thought, oh, I just I just have the winter blues. I like have no energy. I have no lo very low creativity and it really is a real thing. And so it affects different people for different seasons. Well, it affects me during the winter season. Anyway, good morning, everyone. <coughs> hi, hi, Carrie. Yes, I was crafting before church this morning and I said, well, I'll just put the camera on. And if anyone is, uh, you know, scrolling through, they can watch. Um, I'm going to finish my winter blessings bag uh anyway so i found this bag at the dollar tree and uh it's it's a little bit too blue i want to soften it up a little bit um let me tell you some of the other things that i'm using uh for my little sign i just use i, I wasn't sure how it was going to work so i just used my posca black pen uh, marker. It's kind of like a paint marker. And I just hand lettered winter blessings and I'm going to distress it a little bit. I just did it on some muslin fabric, <clears throat> uh, just on some muslin fabric. 
and I just ripped it like I do, like I like to do on the edges. And uh, because I like that, you know, that look to it. But, you know, if someone doesn't like that look, they can always cut it. Now, I'm not, <laughs> I'm not much of a sewer. And uh, so I'll just hot glue, glue it on. But I want to soften my bag a bit. And uh, I'm going to do that with just some paint. And I just pulled out a lot of like what I thought would, <laughs> I'm not going to use all of these, of course, because they won't all fit, but I just pulled out from my stash a whole bunch of different, um, you know, wintry bushes. It's just greenery and, uh, you know, just different like frosted bushes. A lot of the, the majority of them I got from different places, uh, uh, you know, of course on sale because I liked you know, I use so much of it that I'm like, I cannot pay <laughs> full price for all of that. So probably I see like Walmart tags and Hobby Lobby and uh, Michaels. And uh, yeah, those are my usual go-to places. Good morning, everyone. We're doing some craft therapy this morning. Uh, anyway, so um, that's what I use. I'm using some muslin fabric for my little winter blessing sign. Okay, so... For um for my my bag, I thought that I might need something to give it some stability, uh, you know, like some form on the inside. And uh, so I was gonna, I just I have some blue cardstock, and I just was kind of you know just kind of playing around with it this morning. Hey girl, hi Shannon. Hi everyone, we're just doing some craft therapy on this Sunday morning. Thanks for hopping on. <clears throat> and uh, I'll get my little <clears throat> my little uh, placemat here so I don't get paint on my, my mat. I was doing a wreath, uh, I was filming a Valentine wreath um, that I'm not quite finished yet. You can see it just a little bit here. I'm not quite finished filming it yet for my video libraries here on Facebook. And then also I'll upload to YouTube. And, uh, so I had my mat out, uh, cause I was cutting mesh and ribbon and all that good stuff. Okay. So <clears throat> I haven't decided yet if I'm going to hang it with this hanger because the little, there's like two straps on it, but I don't need this front one. So I'm going to leave this back one only because I'm not sure if that's, if that's something that I'm going to want to hang it with or what I thought I pulled this out. This is Garland. And let me tell you where I got this from. I had done the Valentine wreath last night and I used some pit berries. You know, if you've been following me for any length of time, you know, pit berries are my heart. I love pit berries. Anyway, I got these at Michael's on sale. And so it's a garland, but they're individually tied on this garland. And uh, I just untwisted all of them and took them off because I use them in my wreaths. And so I, this is very good. It's, it's just like, it almost looks wood, you know, like some twigs and stuff. So I thought, well, maybe that would be a nice hanger. So I just have it twisted on each other. So I might use that. Um, and then I also have some sticks, some frosted sticks. Now I got these in a bundle from Hobby Lobby and I got those like last year. They like came in a bundle wrapped up with some jute. And then I just have some sticks that I've had. <laughs> I'm like a craft uh, hoarder. <laughs> I like have all of this stuff anyway. So, um, that's what I'm going to use. So I'm going to cut off this one tag Hi, good morning, Wendy. Oh, good. Shannon says she needs a craft therapy break. Oh, thank you. Sweet Shannon from the Daily DIYer. If y'all don't follow Shannon's channel, y'all should. She's on YouTube. Well, she's also on Facebook, but she does uh, uh, craft videos. Very, very good craft videos on YouTube. And she's the Daily DIYer. So, so honored to have you join uh, with me this morning. Okay, so <clears throat> what I want to do is um, I want to soften this up. And I didn't try this yet. I don't know. I might need to get my bigger one. It's like, 
um, just a little one there. So I'm just, I want this, I don't want true white and all I have is true white in here. Uh, good morning. Hi, Lisa from Ohio. So I just, I just want to use this color. So, oh, let me get this smaller one. So I had picked up these brushes from Walmart the other day. And uh, I'm sure I have had some over the years, but you know, you know how that is. Uh, anyway, so I'm just using this plaster color chalk paint and I just want to soften it up a little. And I'm going to do that by um, just, just going over it. I'm not really doing a pattern or anything like that. I'm really just trying to... Um, soften it up and I because for the video purposes I'm just really focusing on the front of it okay thanks Tammy I appreciate that so much okay so then let me put this to the side all right, so then that's what I did. I just softened it up a little because, you know, I wanted the blue to show through, but I didn't want the, like, the true blue, you know, the true blue. And uh, since I have this um, card cardstock in here, I just put that because I wanted a little form. Okay, so then um, I don't need this. Okay, so then for... Well, I don't know. I was going to work. I don't know why I set it to the side. Okay. Um, to cover, cover the top, what I thought was, um, if you're just coming in, um, I am doing a winter decor. You know, after we take down all of our Christmas stuff, like, you know, all the, the tree with all the red and the green and everything, there's like that two-week um window or in my mind two week window that uh we have like we ha you know have winter decor i have mine up down downstairs i don't know if y'all do yesterday i took down all the christmas stuff and then i didn't have i didn't want to bring all my stuff upstairs so i just put my valentine stuff up because you know that's going to be our next holiday that's going to be in here uh anyway so but i've been wanting to do a winter decor little thing for a couple of years and so I said you know just go ahead and do it <laughs> and so that's what I'm doing all right so then um to cover this here at the top I, what I'm using is one of these microfiber cloths from the Dollar Tree and uh I I cut it in half I just took my scissors and I cut it in half and uh good morning hi Annie um I just hi Jenny it's nice to see you here. Uh, what I did is I just cut it in half just with my scissors. And uh, I'm just going to kind of cover this uh, over the uh, like this. So it kind of gives it a snowy effect. In my mind, it's working. <laughs> in my mind, it's working. And so um, I am just going to cover this right here. And uh, I'm... I'm I have the cut edge like sticking down like this. So I was working on this uh, craft this morning and before church, before uh, my family goes to, to mass. And so I said, well, maybe this will inspire someone else because, um, you know, we, are, I'm always inspired by, by watching so many videos and uh, I hope that's what my purpose is. I just hope to inspire you as well. So then I am just gluing this to kind of stick around. I'm not too worried about the back because it's going to be uh, hidden anyway. And I want to be careful that I don't get uh, paint on everything. So that's why I'm being a little careful. Okay, so this is half of that, um, what is it, Microsoft cloth, like for cars. And uh, so I'm just sticking this, 
and then I'm going to stick it on the inside. And it can kind of help uh, add some, um, you know, fullness to that as well. Hi, Patricia. Hi. Good morning, Connie. Hi, Tammy. Hi, Jeannie. Thanks, everyone, for popping in and watching. I hope that this maybe inspires someone to do something the way I was inspired by a fellow crafter, uh, Miss Hildy, over at uh, Simple Abundance. And uh, she's here on Facebook. Um, now, I will upload this also to my YouTube channel. So if you're watching later, um, please tell me hello. You can always watch the replay. I'm liking uh, to do the videos like this now, only because of time purposes and all that good stuff. And uh, so then what I'm going to do is um, I think we're going to work on while that's dry, like while that's drying, finished drying, I'm going to work on distressing my uh, little sign here. So let me pull this back out, my little, my little placemat. <clears throat> Um, I want to distress it a bit, and my favorite way to distress is using my Tim Holtz, uh, my Tim Holtz vintage photo. I'm just getting a finger dauber here. I like to use a finger dauber and a Q-tip to go around the um, to go around the letters. Good morning. Thanks, guys, for sprinkling or sharing the video. I know, you know, there's some places we can't say that word only because, I don't know, for whatever reason. So, <clears throat> I like to add a bit of shading around my projects just to, um, I don't know, just give it that rustic look because that's what I'm all about. And I just like to share my crafts. Yes, I did. Tammy is asking, did I write the words? Yes, I did. What I did, uh, if you're just coming on, I, I took some muslin fabric and <clears throat> I took some muslin fabric. This is how I, I have all of my fabric. And I got this idea from um, the little green bean on Instagram and she also has a blog I think the little green bean.com anyway she is a sewer and she creates fabulous stuff anyway this is how she um, this is just foam board for I just got it from the Dollar Tree and, and she has all the measurements and everything on her website anyway this is how she um, organizes her fabric and it is genius this is how I do it and so I'm um, I just had this shelf in my other in my other room and I just have them stacked up like a book so you can see on the ends <laughs> like what fabric it is. So I just what I did is I just tore it off. I wasn't sure how I was going to do the sign. So I just tore off a piece of it and I like the ragged edges and so I just tore off a piece and then I used my Posca pen and um you know just hand lettered and then just hand lettered. And uh, so I wasn't sure how it was going to turn out because it's been a while since I've written on fabric. And it turned out pretty good. I just had to go slow. It is some God-given talent. Um, I was determined to learn how to write like this. And uh, one time I got a, a comment. Oh, I didn't want to do that. Um, on my uh, YouTube, I think she she asked, what font is that? And I'm like... It's my handwriting, and so um, anyway, so then now what I'm doing is I'm going around the letters just to add some dimension to that, and I'm just using a Q-tip. This Distress Ink is called Tim Holtz, uh, I mean, it's called Vintage Photo by Tim Holtz, and usually it's found in the scrapbooking section at the craft stores. And then also, I do have an Amazon shop. I am, with all of my favorite things, I am an Amazon affiliate. And uh, so, there, like on my Amazon shop, there is, I have it linked for those that are stuck in or you might, 
you know, sometimes it's just easier for me just to order it and just have it delivered to me <laughs> instead of going to try to hunt it down. Hey guys, thanks for being here. What kind of pen did you say? Okay, this is a Posca pen. It is like a paint marker and uh, I got mine from Amazon. I got black and I also got white. So I use the black one. This is the, uh, what is it? The size is uh, PC-5M. So if you just search on Amazon or I do have them linked in my shop, but uh, that's what I use and it's the perfect size for this like this like font like this and uh, anyway so there's that so then like I said um, you know if I was a sewer I might like try to sew this but I'm not really <laughs> my sweet mother-in-law did try to show me one time but it, and you know at the time I'm like yeah I can do that but mm. <laughs> it didn't like stick with me so anyway okay thanks Tammy oh thanks I just I love I just love my happy dots I love uh um paint splatters which I should do that but I'm not going to uh the paint splatters I just love all of that good stuff thanks for joining me how do we find your shop um well it's it, in some of my other videos um there it, I have it linked with this with this camera I can only put like a title in it it won't let me put a whole lot of of information and so I know on other uh, videos I do have it linked there's like a link in uh, the the uh, whoops I almost put that upside down um, in my other videos I do have it where it's like linked it's uh, Amazon shop my shop is craft junkie 2 I'm not sure um how and that might not have worked too good with that hot glue but anyway that's all right we'll just get some some ink and we'll just go over it i maybe should have just put some glue around the edges okay and so let's see what did i do with it now oh here i think that's what i'll do you know because crafting is something that uh we'll just just go over and it looks a little worn so I should not have taken the hot glue and put it uh, on it because it kind of like I don't know it showed like the lines of the hot glue uh, because the muslin fabric is thin <laughs> I should have clicked to that anyway but it's okay and I want some of the ends to stick up a bit because I am going to use my some rusty safety pens okay so um i had got these safety pens from walmart i think and so then i used my friend uh her name is linda faith chick 777 i used her um her technique for rusting silver and so uh, you know, I'm, I'm a bit rustic, so I am just going to, um, and really what, what I, I could have just pin them instead of hot gluing. I'm kind of learning as I'm going along. So I'm giving you different ideas. So once the video ends, I will make sure if you're watching on the replay, I will make sure and find Linda's link for her video of rusting metals she uh that is the video that i um that i used and so right now i'm not able to right at the moment while i'm doing this i'm not able to put the link in but i will uh include the link later and so i just like to add little rusty safety pins just like that just to the ends or to the corners, you know, and I could do a little, few more. But anyway, I did them all at one time. Uh, it, her technique works um, a, a really good. And so, Faith Chick 777, if you want to 
uh, search YouTube Faith Chick 777 How to Rest Metals. If you can't wait for me to include the link, that is how you can find it. Okay. All right. So then now. Thanks, guys, for doing some craft therapy with me this morning. And I keep putting my hand in here because I want it to kind of, like, uh, make a, at the bottom. Uh, so it keeps sliding up. Okay. So then this is how we are at the moment. Um, I'm loving the way this is turning out. Oh, my goodness. This is turning out so good. So just to recap for someone that is just popping on. This bag is from the Dollar Tree, and uh, it comes, you know, in this color. I just took my brush and, and some plaster chalk paint and softened it up a bit. And uh, then this sign, I hand-lettered on some muslin fabric and did my happy dots. And for this right here, I just used a, a soft micro microfiber cloth or chamois is that what you i don't know what do you call these anyway they're like for cars they're in the uh automotive section at hobby lobby not hobby lobby <laughs> i got hobby lobby on the brain dollar tree dollar tree and so i just cut it in half and just use i wanted the cut edge down here i didn't want the uh you know sewn edge how this so i cut it like that and that is the cuff of my my little bag here, I'm using um, a, a lot of greenery. Anyway, so then I just have some rags, just some old rags uh, that I'm going to put in the bottom just to kind of give, uh, give it some um, filler at the bottom because I don't want to, uh, some of my, like these sticks right here are not very, long you could also use like old socks are good like for filler or uh you know you know you could use another one of these but i want to use that for a different project you know or tissue paper paper towels uh anything that you can kind of think of that will kind of add some some filler so this is where we're at at the moment i'm loving the way that this turn is turning out i'm loving it I need to glue this just a bit more. Hi, Lisa. Hi, Laura. Guys, this will this video will be on my my page, and uh, if you're watching on the replay, please say hello because I love to give you a like or say hello back. Um, I just. You know, love doing this. I love crafting. It's my therapy. And so I hope to, my intention is I hope to inspire others that want to create uh, create or craft and like this style. Okay. So then now I'm going to work on, on my, and I just pulled out a whole bunch of greenery. I got a whole bunch of greenery. I pulled out of my stash. Uh, like I said, they came from Walmart, Hobby Lobby, Michaels, uh, Dollar Tree. So, you know, now is the time to get all of this stuff really cheap. And I should have pulled all of these. Good morning. Hi, Lisa. Hi, Natalie. Hi, Bobby. Teresa. Walmart seems to put two tags. <laughs> on their stuff. I don't know. I think I've had these for a couple of years because they're they were still 90 97 cents. But sometimes they these stores will have uh, multiples you know uh throughout the or different year throughout the years they'll have the same thing. And I, I liked this crystal one. I'm not quite sure. I think I've used it on something else. I'm not sure if I'm gonna need this <clears throat> Hi, Bobby from Dallas. Hi, Cindy. Cindy says it's her first time here. Welcome. Welcome anyone who's new. My name is Tracy, and I craft here at Country Charm by Tracy. I love to share crafty ideas with a bit of country, uh, rustic country charm. That's kind of my tagline. That's what you'll hear me say. 
so I'm just uh, cutting off some of these branches. Hi, Nancy. Good morning to you. Okay, I'm just using a bag from the Dollar Tree that I just put uh, some fur on or some, some of this, one of these cloths and hot glue that on. I hand lettered the sign. And so then now I'm just going to stick, start sticking my stuff in. Um, I might need to get a little more filler in there before. This might be a little too much, but we can, you know, I can play with it. And I have some greenery pine. I don't know. My, uh, last week I went, uh, like the day after Christmas, I went shopping to find some some, uh, you know, after Christmas stuff. And I went to Hobby Lobby and the Hobby Lobby I went to did not have a whole lot. So I don't know if that's true with other, you know, Hobby Lobbies. Uh, I don't know. I, I don't know. They just are putting things on sale earlier in the year. I don't know. I can't remember from year to year. So I'm going to use some of this pine, but I need to cut off this stick. Hi, Carol. Thanks. Hi, thanks for watching from Michigan. So I want to, I want to cut this. We're going to just bend it. I have to get my husband to cut it for whatever reason. I can't cut it. Okay. So I am just going to stick that in. So I'm, I don't know if I'm going to use this right now. So then I'll just start sticking in. Hi, Barb. Thanks for joining. I'm just making a winter bag decor purse. And I called it a purse because um, I was inspired by Hildy from Simple Abundance uh, on Facebook she did a, she took a purse where she, <laughs> she painted it and then she made a winter bag or winter decor, you know, sign holder for her. Uh, I don't know what she did with it anyway. And I was so inspired. I'm like, I've been wanting to do that for a few years. And so I didn't have a purse that I wanted to, uh, you know, paint over. And uh, so this is how... We're looking at the moment. And of course, once I hang it on the door, it will uh, hang uh, more nicely. I might need to uh, glue this in the back so it kind of hangs a little bit more. But just by adding just some different textures of all the greenery. Um, Linda said my Hobby Lobby was pretty picked over before Christmas. Yes, I know. I don't know. I don't know what it is. Um... I don't know. <laughs> it's just, you know, used to we could go after Christmas and uh, like stock up, which we probably still can. But some of the stuff that I like, like this greenery, um, none. I did not see one. Now that this was just the, I only went to one Hobby Lobby and it was just really, I don't know, it was just really picked over. So this is how my bag is looking so far. And, you know, uh, I'm liking it. I'm liking it. I'm liking it. Oh, I forgot about these. I had pick, um, the, oh yeah. See, I got, I pulled all kind of stuff out of my stash. My greenery came from all, all kind of stores, Michael's, Hobby Lobby, uh, Walmart, you know, just all kind of places. Let's see, this is a Walmart tag. Okay, so these are snowy branches. Oh, I almost forgot about my 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 twigs. My I got these here from Hobby Lobby last year, like last year, 2019. And uh, I didn't um I, I needed to use them for something, and so 
uh, this is perfect. So that's why, you know, they're short. They're, they came in a bundle tied with some jute. And uh, so I'm just kind of sticking these in here. Just kind of sticking these in just like that. And of course me, I'm, I'm the type of crafter that like I have to have it hang. And then, you know, I'm like, oh, that needs something here. You know, that needs a little something there. And so, are, are any of y'all like that? And so then sometimes, let me see, I may not even cut this apart. So, thanks for joining me this morning, guys. Oh, Julie says she went to Hobby Lobby and got a bunch of stuff good for you. Hi, Kathy. Good morning to you. So this is how our, I mean, I could just, I can piddle like nobody's business and just keep adding and adding and adding and just, you know, just make it really, really, really cute. But I, I hope that this inspired you. I was inspired uh, by Miss Hildy over at uh, Simple Abundance. And uh, so um, you can, after... I finish my craft I will put the link to her video or her craft because I do want to give her credit because she did inspire me and so I'm all about you know a community over competition you know if somebody inspires me I'm gonna give them credit and uh, so you know it's just common courtesy and you know just the right thing to do so I just have all kind of different textures of greenery now i got these eucalyptus early in the season at dollar tree like they were just putting out their um christmas stuff and uh i, I don't know if i've i don't know if i've ever seen white eucalyptus at the dollar tree so uh th that's the thing when you kind of see them you got to get them you know you got to get it i know you know sometimes people don't want to uh you know, get the stuff because they don't want to store it or they don't need it yet. And uh, that's why we're seeing Easter and, you know, well, of course, Valentine's been out for a bit. Can't wait for that to go on sale at Hobby Lobby. Be getting some stuff. Thanks, Linda. So this is how my little, and I could just add some more. If I had some bigger twigs, that would probably look better. Uh, Miss Hildy also, like when in her video, she gives the, uh, an idea of how to make your own uh, branches that look like uh, birch and uh, using uh, like a, a paper towel roll or a, a something. So see, I have all kind of stuff I could just stick in here. Uh, like I said, once it gets, once I get it finished and hang it up then I'll go oh my goodness what were you thinking uh anyway so but this is just I just want to inspire someone um I just took a bag from the Dollar Tree and I just softened it up a little with some paint and I'm not sure I like pulled all this greenery out and it's like I want to use it I, I want to use all of this stuff because I pulled it out because I'm like oh that would look good in there so you know um, sometimes less is more and sometimes more is better <laughs> right okay so oh yeah so depending on you know where um, a person would be hanging their uh, decor, their winter decor would depend um, how much, you know, and how big you want it. That's the thing is, you know, you can make it as big or as uh, condensed as you want. And that is what my purpose is, is just to inspire you, you know, um, the thing is, is that if you can't find, if you like that, if you can't find this bag, Miss Hilda used an old purse that she painted. And I'm like, oh my goodness, that is genius. But of course, I didn't have any that I wanted to, to do. And so I just softened it up with some paint. I just used some muslin fabric to, uh, and then I hand lettered with my 
uh, Posca pen. And um, that is one of the gifts that God has given to me as well as, uh, you know, this page to be able to connect with like-minded people that may be stuck inside and need some entertainment and you've you're tired of watching netflix <laughs> you're tired of watching um all of the uh stuff that's going on and maybe you just need some some entertainment just to uh find you know something something uh you know something else to watch and so also what i thought is uh, this the video will be sh uh, saved on my page in my video library so if you can't watch you know now you can watch later um, but I just want to encourage and inspire other people so then now what I thought is I would make just a small bow and I'll show how you do that good morning hi everyone hi Joyce Hi, Marty. Thanks for sprinkling, guys. Sprinkling means to, to share the video. And uh, I don't know, Facebook is weird. YouTube, you can share it with other people, um, you know, on your little platform uh, or to your Facebook. And we greatly appreciate that. So, <clears throat> so I'm just ripping. I like the ragged edge. So I just rip that off. So I'm going to cut just some strips and I just, you know, get my muslin fabric at any fabric store. I don't want a big bow. I just want uh, just, just something small. So I'm just going to use that. Thanks, Lisa. Lisa says, turn out cute. Hi, Kathy. This is a great winter craft. Oh, good. I'm, that's my purpose. I really, I just want to inspire you um, to kind of look to see what you have, uh, that what you can use. And let me see if I can. Oh, I forgot about these sticks. See, I pulled all kind of stuff out. <laughs> I'm like, oh, this will look good. This will look good. This will look good. So let me see if that stays up there. Um, I'll definitely take a picture and, uh, you know, post it on my, my page so you can see the finished product project and, uh, I'll post it on my Instagram and all of that stuff. Now, one of the things that I like to do is I like to rip my fabric and because it's kind of, you know, only uh, like an inch, uh, it doesn't rip too good that way. So I use my pinking shears just to uh, trim it down and it kind of gives it a nice um, edge to it and uh, that works good and so if any of the tails are too long I can uh, go back and trim those up and all that good stuff and so then uh, I got this ribbon this is one of the uh, ribbons that I found at Walmart, at Walmart, uh, the other day when I was there, it was. Uh, I, I'm, we're thinking that Walmart had their stuff 75% off because this was cheap. This roll was seven, uh, $7.98, and I'm thinking it was 75% off. So um, I, I just like. I loved it because it has uh, silver sparkles in there. I just like that, and so I am just going to cut off some of that and just let's see do I want to dovetail I think I may want to so I'm gonna <clears throat> cut it a little bit longer and then I think I want to dovetail some some ribbons do not dovetail very well or you kind of um, defeat your purpose so dovetail is just it gives it a V like on the ends it gives it a nice finished look Thanks, Claudia. So I'm just cutting two of those just to give it uh, just some enhancement, uh, just the silver. So that's one of the things that I encourage, uh, you know, my friends is, you know, Look for those colors that you can use for other seasons and uh, probably, yeah, I'll see this is glitter ribbon that I've, this looks like a Dollar Tree 
uh, Dollar Tree brand that I, I know I didn't get it this year, so I got it another year, uh, you know, previous years. So I'm just cutting those at an angle. And then I use my little, my little stapler, my little tiny attacher. That's what it's called. It just puts a little bitty staple in the middle. And this thing is one of the most common questions <laughs> that I'll get, or I'll get messages about, uh, you know, about this little tiny attacher. It's in, it's in my Amazon affiliate store. Uh, you can, if, if the craft stores in the, uh, uh, scrapbooking section have them. And I like to use them because it helps me with my bows. Um, if you're new here or if you've been with me for a while, you know I'm a gadget junkie. And uh, so, yeah, I like all my little gadgets and all that good stuff. So now what I'm going to do is I am just kind of crisscrossing, you know, just making a messy bow. I call it a messy bow. A lot of people, oops, a lot of people call it a refab bow or, uh, you know, whatever. I don't want to, I don't want to put too much in there. I want it, I want just a little accent. I don't want it to be too bulky for for my project. Okay. So then these glittery stems are probably something I got at either Hobby Lobby or Dollar Tree like when they have the glittery stems. I don't have the 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 top of it, so that's why I don't know. Uh, happy Sunday to you, Deborah. Thanks for watching. And guys, if you're watching, because I'll have this uh, in my video library, if you're watching later, I love, um, even if you're watching at a later time, I love to uh, say hello to you. So just let me know that you were here by just saying replay, maybe where you're watching from. I love to see all of the, uh, how different our friends find us and how we can inspire people and connect all across the world. This is just amazing. <clears throat> Hi, Lori from Twin Falls, Idaho. Thank you. Um, one of the things I like to do is I like to use pipe cleaners for my, uh, my bows because I like I can get it really tight and it, it pops up my bow. And so then you have, it's like a perky bow. I like want my ribbons to perk, to pop. And so that really gives, uh, in my opinion, a very nice bow because then your ribbons kind of pop. And so then I just make sure all of them are tied. Hi, Kathy. Hello, Kathy Marie. Regina, good morning to y'all. Hi, Lori. Hi, anyone that I, I may have missed. Uh, the comments come in. Um, Kind of fast and i don't know exactly who i've said hello to who i haven't if you're watching on the replay hello to you uh, please don't get discouraged if you're watching at a later time because i will have this saved in my libraries on facebook as well as my youtube channel because um you know people go back they find you at different times okay so i'm gonna add my bow to it now, I'm not quite sure. I don't know if I want to, um, I might use one of these bigger, one of these bigger safety pins. Now, these safety pins, I did do a rusting um, tech because they were silver. I bought them at, at, at uh, Walmart. They were silver, and I used my friend Linda, uh, she's Faith Chick 777 on YouTube, and uh, I used her technique as far as rusting metals, the best one that I've seen. I will link to it, if you're watching the video at a different time, um, I will link to her video, or if you're impatient and, and can't wait for me to do that, you can find her on YouTube at uh, Faith Chick 777 How to Rust Metals, or just put, uh, you know, just uh, type in How to Rust Metals, and maybe her video will pop up because I have sent quite a few people there. Okay, so let me see. I might need to trim this off. I like to use a pipe cleaner for my uh, bows because I like it to pop. Okay, thanks. Thanks, guys. Hi, 
Hi, Wendy. Hi, Michelle. Okay, so then what I'm going to do is I think I am just going to, oh, that would look good with some little rust, I mean, some silver bells. I just thought about that just now. <laughs> That's what's, uh, you know, uh, I don't know, encouraging or sometimes it's like, oh, man, because when you're when you're live crafting like this, things pop, <laughs> you know, like pop in your head. And so um, I just want to attach this. Let me see. Let me see. I'm trying to to get my uh, I have my my bow my pipe cleaner so tight so that i couldn't get my my uh, safety pin through there okay so let's see i might need to move that over a little bit so then i just have just a little bit of the accent you know i didn't want a big you know big fluffy bow I just wanted a little accent is what I wanted. And so then sometimes, um, you know, sometimes to get get the ribbon to lay correctly, uh, sometimes those, uh, those tails need to be trimmed a bit. Okay, so I'll do that. I will take a picture and uh, of my finished craft, and uh, with all of the links, I'll edit the, the uh, information for this video so that I will have links to Hildy's inspiration for her winter bag. I will have Linda's um, resting metals i will make sure and have that i will have a link to my amazon store and specific links for some of the things that i have mentioned here in this video uh you know and of course you can always message me with any questions i try to get back to you as soon as i can guys i'm just loving this thank y'all for joining me if you're watching on the replay please uh, continue to watch because i do love to share uh, crafts like this and I think I need one more uh, oh here it is I'm like where did my other maybe I need a longer one so anyway and I don't have in here I don't have anything glued uh, just to give it a little um, cushion down here at the bottom or a little filler so I wouldn't have to stick everything so far down I just put some rags just some old rags in there guys i'm loving this i hope that you are too anyway so i do have lots of um things coming up so if you haven't liked and followed my page yet or subscribed here on youtube then uh please do because uh we don't want you to miss anything okay guys all right, y'all, I'll have a great day, and we'll talk to you all very soon. Okay, God bless.